Hi, and welcome back to Miss Kathy's Kitchen. Today, um, we're going to make a lion because in Miss Lindsay's class, we're talking about zoo and zoo animals. So for this, you're gonna need something round. The recipe actually calls for an uncrustable, but you can choose anything round. It could be a cookie, it could be an English muffin, you could take a regular sandwich and make it into a round circle. So we're gonna start with our round circle. Then you're gonna need some pretzels for the whiskers. You're gonna need some cheese cut into a triangle for his ears. You're gonna need a strawberry for his nose. You're going to need some mandarin oranges for his mane. And I have a trick about mandarin oranges. If you wanna take these next year in your lunch to school and you're going to kindergarten, and you know how when you open them and they make a big mess, if you just poke a little hole and take a straw and stick it in there, you can drink all the juice before you open it and then you won't spill it all over and you won't waste the juice. We're gonna need some blueberries or something for eyes. And we're gonna need um, a different shape of a pretzel for his little mouth. I think that's everything. So. We're gonna put the strawberry on for his nose. And then we need the pretzels. And in the um, recipe I saw, they actually, I think, used a little bit of frosting or something to make lines, but that's not really healthy. So I'm gonna stick these pretzels in because they kept falling off when I made this. So we're gonna make his whiskers. And they're sticking out a bit, but he kind of looks cute. I don't even know if you could see that. So then we're going to stick his ears on. Ears go up here, right? We'll see if they stay on. He needs his little eyes because lions have to see. I'm not sure if they're going to stay. And then he needs his mouth because, you know, we know they gotta eat. And then he needs his mane, and we're gonna stick the mane all around this fancy schmancy lion. And this would make a very good lunch. Let's see what we can do here. And this is something that would be very fun for you guys to make. And you know, all those fancy chefs always say that food tastes better when it looks better. So let's see if I can show you a picture. If I can show you guys. Oops, there's his mouth, I'll hold it on. Can you see what he looks like? Sorry, making you seasick now. There you go, can you see that? He looks pretty cute except he lost his mouth. That would make a good little lunch, wouldn't it? The other thing we could make is often we'll do ants on a log because ants on a log are healthy. So you'll need a log and that's celery. And then you take some peanut butter and you put the peanut butter or anything you want in the middle. You might want to use cream cheese. You might want to use some cheese Whiz. That's not healthy. It's very, very processed. But instead of putting ants on our log, we're going to put some zoo animals. And you can stick them, animal cookies. You can stick them right in the peanut butter. And that's fun to make, isn't it? And wouldn't that be a fun snack when you're talking about zoo animals? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this cooking video and I hope you enjoy cooking while you're at home with your moms and dads. Until next time, bye.